Got any questions for me? JM is the key. This is John Mendoza and welcome to my vlog. To begin, assess the patient with the help of mnemonic lemon. Look externally for signs of difficult intubation, such as those with large tongue, short neck, obesity, dentures, and large incisors. Evaluate 332 rule, which is an assessment tool used to predict difficult intubations. This functions to estimate whether the anatomy of the neck will allow for appropriate opening of the throat and larynx. Three finger breaths for the mouth opening, three finger breaths for the hyoid mental distance, and two finger breaths for thyromental distance. Third, we assess the malampati score. Ask the patient to stick out his tongue and assess the oral cavity. The higher the grade, the more difficult is the intubation. Next, we assess for any signs of obstruction, such as tumors, abscess, foreign bodies, and expanding hematoma. Neck mobility is also checked. For the equipments to be used, remember the mnemonics MAIDS. M for monitors, which includes cardiac monitors and pulse oximeter. A for airway equipment, such as laryngoscope, stethoscope, endotracheal tubes, and back valve mask resuscitator. I for intravenous fluids. D for drugs, which includes neuromuscular blockers and sedatives. S for suction, including suction machine and catheter. After preparing materials, check the patency of the tube by inflating it and then deflating it right after. Basic airway. Position the patient in a sniffing position by placing a pillow under the patient's head. A combination of neck flexion and head extension is considered to be suitable for endotracheal intubation. Suction secretions that may cause airway obstruction. Then perform the jaw thrust maneuver by moving the tongue anteriorly with the mandible, minimizing the tongue's ability to obstruct the airway. To maintain the airway, an oropharyngeal airway can be inserted through the mouth or a nasopharyngeal airway through the nose. A few minutes of pre-oxygenation is started prior to intubation whenever possible. Hold the mask with good grip to ensure an airtight seal. The Celix maneuver is performed to help align the airway structures and reduce the risk of regurgitation. And this is done by applying gentle pressure at the level of required cartilage. Then induce sedation and give a muscle relaxant to prevent gagging. Advanced Airway Open the mouth with the gloved right hand, scissoring two fingers by placing the thumb on the lower jaw and index finger on the upper jaw. The laryngoscope is held on the left hand and is inserted along the right side of the tongue Pushing the tongue to the left, depth perception is difficult, so structures should be identified as the blade passes to the tongue and the piglotis. Traction is then applied along the long axis of the handle. Visualize the glottis opening. The endotracheal tube is then passed at the right corner of the mouth. The tip of the tube is passed through the glottis opening and is advanced by 2 cm until properly placed. Carefully remove the laryngoscope. Inflate the cuff using the 10 ml syringe. Remove the stylet carefully while holding the endotracheal tube. Attach the tube to a bag valve mask resuscitator for oxygen. Check for chest expansion. Evaluate the placement of the tube by auscultating the chest as well as the epigastrium. Equal breath sounds must be heard over both lung fields. Once correct positioning of the tube has been confirmed, connect the tube to a mechanical ventilator and plaster the tube in place. Lastly, we obtain chest x-ray if possible. Follow me for more videos on JM is the key. Adios!